Today we go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the sequel trilogy. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, Episode 9 being the final film of the Skywalker Saga, this is a huge task that J.J. Abrams has to complete in a very good way that will satisfy a lot of Star Wars fans around the world. And I feel like that a lot of fans, a lot of hardcore fans especially, really need a very, very good Star Wars film after the huge controversy that was, of course, The Last Jedi by writer and director Ryan Johnson and what Kathleen Kennedy had approved for certain decisions in the actual movie, etc. Now, we've been going over Episode 9 these past couple of weeks. We've been learning a whole lot more about the final film of the sequel trilogy that will indeed bring a return of Leia, Luke, Lando, you name it. However, we have been going over different pieces of concept art descriptions, etc., many of which had all to do with Kylo Ren, Luke Skywalker, Rey, etc., one of which actually has all to do with a new power for Rey in Episode 9 that is very similar, if not the same, to that of Kylo Ren's in The Force Awakens. Now, one of the concept art descriptions goes over Rey in a narrow hallway in front of many stormtroopers fire their blasters at her. The blasts, however, are frozen in mid-air, with Rey's hand reaching out with one hand, while the other hand holds a lightsaber hilt that's not ignited. This happens to be a mastered form of Force Stasis, a cannon force power that Kylo Ren used on Jakku when going up against Poe Dameron's blaster. Now, this is a very interesting piece, and this is something that I'm not quite sure on how I feel about this. Well, if we look at the Jack Hughes sequence in the very beginning of The Force Awakens, I really do believe that this is the same exact Force power, except in its mastered form, in which Rey is able to do this through, of course, blocking multiple blasts. You know, this ability kind of reminds me of something, once again, from The Matrix, in which Neo raises his hand and blocks all of the bullets. It seems like they got this idea from The Matrix as Ryan Johnson got many ideas from The Matrix as well in The Last Jedi. If you guys go ahead and do a lot of research and look back and forth here and there, you will see some parallels and similarities. But looking at Rey, all right, Force Stasis, it seems to be one of her new powers in Star Wars Episode 9. She's blocking the blaster fire by numerous stormtroopers by raising one hand and one hand only, kind of similar to what we saw at the very end of The Last Jedi in which she's lifting rocks to free up the en the exit and entrance in which the you know remainder of the resistance could get through and board the Millennium Falcon safely and ahead of time before Kylo Ren got through. So I think that, you know, looking at the Last Jedi novelization, the fact that it explains that Rey learned many of Kylo Ren's abilities when touching hands in the hut scene. I think that she learned of Force Stasis at that very given moment in time. A lot of people call it Force Freeze, alright, that moment in which Kylo Ren stops the blaster fire from Poe Dameron on Jakku, and it doesn't even move until Kylo Ren leaves while Finn watches him. Alright, so this is the thing here. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this, of Rey essentially learning all of these different powers just by touching Kylo Ren's hands, or even in The Force Awakens where she goes into his mind. She learned a lot of powers through that way as well. In case you guys didn't know, that's how she actually was able to learn all the lightsaber moves on Starkiller Base, and some would even argue that's how she actually learned the Jedi mind trick. So, if this concept art does indeed come into fruition for Episode 9, this will indeed be one of Rey's new powers, called Force Stasis, or in simple terms, Force Freeze. The same exact power and the mastered form of the power that Kylo Ren used against one blast from Poe Dameron. But anyways guys, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. How do you feel about essentially Rey borrowing and stealing or taking powers away from Kylo Ren and making them her own and mastering them on her own and using those abilities in Episode 9, the final film of this trilogy by J.J. Abrams. Let me know how you feel about all of this in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do you make sure to drop a thumbs up on 
on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.